Who's going to go first? Hi, my name is Christina Cheney. My name is Stefan Cheney. And we are the Cheneys. That sounded good. The Cheneys. We've been married for six months now. Yes. And we just actually just celebrated our six month anniversary. Yesterday. And it's going really well. It's going much better than I had anticipated, much better than I've heard, especially with the divorce rate shooting through the roof. Um, it's been really great. Yeah, I'm wondering why you said better than you anticipated. What'd you expect? So we <laughs> met back in 2013 at a fundraising event in Los Angeles, California. And it was just a you know casual interaction. Like, you know, he didn't hit on me, I didn't hit on him. We were with friends and we were partying in a group setting. Very just simple, nothing extra. So here's how it went down. I'm standing in line, minding my own business, me and some of my boys, and out of nowhere comes Christina and her, you know, two of her best friends. And they immediately walk up to me out of the, all the people in the line. And her best friend's like, hey guys, you know, thank you for saving my place in line. And so I'm like, I look at my boy, I'm like, okay, you know, I don't know these chicks. They're obviously trying to break line, but they're cute. So we let them in front of us. Well, as a single female in LA, I basically reached a point of no return where I was like, you know what, I'm done doing things the way I've been doing them. I keep running into the same wall and I'm over it. So I didn't have any more time to waste. And he seemed like, you know, after getting to know him, that he was, you know, cool to share that information with. So I told him straight out, like, look, I am celibate. And I was like, cool, because what she didn't know is that at that point, an hour getting to know each other. I probably have been celibate for eight months or something mm -hmm. crazy. And when he told me that, I, I, felt, that, I felt that that was true. Because uh, when you think about rushing into sex, what happens? The chain the reaction of, you know, all of a sudden you're stalking somebody's Instagram page. <laughs> all of a sudden you're checking your phone every five minutes to see if somebody called or text. And a lot of people ask like, were you nervous? Like, what if he's small? Like, are you guys are talking marriage now? Like, what, like, how do you, you haven't had sex though. And honestly, the, the fear of unknowing did not come into my mind at all. I had so much confidence because first of all, this man has the, enough confidence for 10 men. And secondly, you know, God created sex and I know God and he knows me. So he knows what I want. So anyway, so fast forward, so he it proposed. So it worked out, in the long run it worked out. He proposed. And it's still working out. And he proposed. Huh? September 19th. <laughs> 20th, September 20th. Yeah, whatever, did the day after his birthday. Whatever. And he did it in such a grand way, there's a video link on the site, you can check it out. In front of like 800 people at a film festival and had one of our really good friends film or record his whole, you know, what was it like? You went out one night, basically followed him around with a camera and it looked like a, a movie trailer. And they posted it up at the very end of the film festival and he was narrating the thing and I'm like looking at this film trailer, like what the heck, like this is, what? When did they do this? Is this for, a, wait, what? The last thing, proposal, that was the last thing that entered into my mind. Everyone got it before I did. Yeah, cause I had just picked a fight with it the day before. I was like, listen, don't let your friends talk your head about me proposing about marriage because I got a lot of things I want to take care of. It's not happening anytime soon. And I soon. knew, like I was. And expecting. she's like, I know, I know it's not happening anytime soon, but I ain't gonna be your girlfriend for like three years. Right, because we weren't so. having sex. I'm not. Just, I mean, well, whatever. Anyways, <laughs> so he proposed in a very grand way, and it was the most amazing feeling that I've ever felt because he didn't just propose; like he really put effort into it and really like you know, stood on the mountaintop and announced to the world that he loves me. And I was like, he, wow, like, I ain't get no cookies. He loves me. The actual day of the wedding, I was like, I was cool. People would say, like, yo, when you see her coming down the aisle, you're gonna, you're gonna cry. 
And he cried. He nah, did. nah. See, this is the deal. All right. She came down the aisle. I didn't cry. I thought I was, but that was like the main thing in my mind. Like, yo, I'm like, are you gonna cry? It's like, nah. I'm from the streets. With and God. now we're married. And now we're married. How did you feel before you came down the aisle? Um, before I came down the aisle, I was getting excited because I kept hearing all of our friends and family cheering when he walked out because he had like this super gold, you know, what my dad puts in Las Vegas showman <laughs> jacket. Oh, my dad's so funny. Her but, dad um, said I look like a Vegas show performer. performer. Yeah, so I could see his reflection <laughs> through one of the windows and I was like, oh my God, he's already out there. Then uh, my nerves just skyrocketed and I was like, all right, ah, I just need to walk. I need to move. Your dad looks like a Vegas show performer. But when I saw him, when I saw him, oh, I was calm. When your legs don't work like they used to before And I can't sweep you off of your feet Will your mouth still remember the taste of my love? Will your eyes still smile from your cheek? Darling, I promise to never cheat on you To never physically, mentally, or emotionally abuse you but rather to provide for you, protect you, and do my part in bringing out the best in you. You are safe for the rest of your life because I've chosen to dedicate the rest of my life to him. A man who loves God will certainly love and honor his life. And you have proven yourself throughout this courtship to be worthy of marriage. I love you so much. And just as I have committed to this lifestyle of purity, I promise to commit myself to you until my last breath. Gone and my memory fades, and the crowds don't remember my name. When my hands don't play the strings the same way, mm -hmm. I know you will still love me the same. Cause, honey, your soul could never grow.
promise to continue to love you with the assistance of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I know that we are not exempt from hardships, life doesn't promise ease, but we have the comfort in knowing our faithfulness towards each other. Let God, the creator of marriage, be at the center always. I boldly promise to love you, to respect you, to encourage you, as we strive to be more and more like him every day. I promise to be loving to be gentle, to be patient, and last but not least, to give you the God-ordained sex life oh my God. that he has promised on our lives. And I seal this in the mighty name of Jesus and the people of God said,